right guys, how you doing? It's Rabir, hope you're all good. So I bring you a new pedal today. This is an overdrive pedal, courtesy of the wonderful people at Rev Amplification, who I'm sure you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while, they make great amplifiers and pedals based in Canada. But this is a new collaboration on a pedal they've done with a great guitar player called Sean Tubbs. If you've not heard of Sean Tubbs before, I'll put his uh, channel in the description box below, but he's formerly a session guitar player and then got into YouTube uh, a little while back and has been making YouTube videos and working with guys like Rev and doing all sorts of demos and getting great tones and needless to say, an absolutely fantastic guitar player. So I urge you to check out his channel, listen to his playing and tones if you've not heard of him before. Either way, this is a great collaboration between Rev and Sean and it's called the Tilt Overdrive. Now I've been sent this pedal to check out as per request by Sean himself, which is really cool. So thank you very much for asking me to check this out. Essentially what it is, is an overdrive on one side and then a boost slash EQ, very smartly tuned EQ on the other side. As this is a signature pedal collaboration, it's very much tuned to the tastes of Sean's guitar tones and the kind of things he likes, but I really like his guitar tone, so I know it's gonna sound nice. The boost is more or less kind of like a clean boost on top, but then you get this EQ called the Tilt EQ, and that's where the sort of real trick of this pedal is. The pedal itself looks really nice. It's a great sort of nicely solid metal casing, small footprint, not very big. We've got two foot switches, and two sides of the pedal on the left hand side as you drive, on the right hand side as you boost. Uh, signified by a red LED and a blue LED. Uh, the drive has your gain, your volume, your treble and your bass, and then the boost has the boost level and then the tilt EQ. And then you can see below there's a little three-way toggle switch which changes uh, the tilt of the EQ between normal in middle position, half in up position, and full in down position. So that's where I believe the names come from, that you can put it in full tilt EQ position. Just to let you guys know, this is a sponsored video. Rev have paid me to check this pedal out, put it through its paces with my guitars and gear and stuff, and try and talk about it, put it into context, show off the tones and all that. Uh, any opinions of it, I'll try and leave to the end, but I just wanted to let you guys know. So as I said before, the trick of this pedal, I believe, is in the tilt EQ function. On one hand, you've got a boost, which of course boosts the output of the pedal into the amplifier, gives you more gain. But on top of that, it can you can also control the tilt EQ, which to my ear sounds almost like a high pass filter. The way they've put the pot is that at full position, it's sort of not engaged, it's off. And as you dial back that control of tilt EQ, it starts to kind of pull out the low end. It sort of shelves, it brings it up to a certain point. And then using that three-way toggle switch, you can adjust the the dras how drastic that is, how intense it actually acts. I know that Sean uses a Dirty Shirley from Friedman, so we're gonna be using the Twin Sister. I've got a couple of guitars, and I'm just gonna try and get as much out of this pedal as possible. So let's check out the Tilt Overdrive from Rev Amplification and Sean Tubbs. Okay, so let's begin. Just so you know, the signal chain is I'm running my Strat into the pedal board, into the Tilt Overdrive. We go out of that into the front of the Twin Sister, and I'm running an instance of Archetype Nolly for my cab section. We're actually using the Crunch cab, the Crunch amp cab, and then we'll also, when we dial up the gain, we'll move across to like a V30 cab. But let me give you a sound of the guitar. Any reverb you hear is coming from Archetype Nolly as well, but this is what we've got. So what I want to do first is show you the tilt EQ because I think if you know how that works then it shows you how the rest of the pedal can be used. Because it's combined with the boost side, I've set the boost at a place where I believe it's not really making any difference to the, the sound when I turn it on and off. Case in point. I mean, slightly, but that's as close as I can get it. What it's going to allow me to do is mess with that EQ so you can really hear what's going on. So let me turn off the reverb. So at the minute you can see the tilt EQ knob is all the way up, meaning it's not actually doing anything. And then that sort of three-way tight switch is set to normal. So let me turn it on. So in normal position, let me turn it up halfway. So you can clearly hear it's pulling out low end and low mid compared to when it's off. Either half or full till is gonna make that even more drastic, so. So 
So the more you pull back that tilt EQ, the more drastic that is. So this is off. Normal. Half. And full. So that's so thinned out. But quite cool if you're doing like... Be quite a nice layer because there's nothing there, there's no like low end so it's not getting in the way. So now you can hear how that tilt EQ works, you can guess how it's going to help us shape the tone of the game. So let's move on to the overdrive side. This would be a good time to demonstrate the boost and the tilt EQ together. So if I drop the volume back to halfway, so we're just running the gain. Then I'm going to add the boost in, but it's set so it's not really doing much right now. We'll boost the gain, boost the boost. So, that's kind of what I was hoping to demonstrate. At this point, you can hear um, how it's gotten really like intense when it comes to the, the neck. Sort of bottoming out. So let's kind of use this tilt EQ to see if we can get that back. It's definitely doing exactly what I thought it was. So when you take it out, and then with it on, if I take that EQ all the way out, but keep the boost in, you can clearly hear. Put it back up. So I'm personally really digging that. Like, firstly, the sound of the overdrive is, like I said, it's it's kind of warm and it's got a, a softer edge to it. But what's quite nice is that, well, when you use the boost side, obviously you can you can get the gain out of this pedal. But then that tilt EQ totally allows you to clean things up when there's loads of gain and you're on the neck pickup and you're you're on the lower strings and it's giving you all that flub and it's bottoming out. You you can totally combat that with that with that sort of tight tilt EQ combination. Um, that's really cool. And yeah, it, f it feels great as well. It's like a nice feeling pedal. So let's try it with a different guitar. Let's move on to, let's try, I don't know, a penguin. Okay, so here's the penguin. So let's throw on the drive. So 
so I want to get a little more finger tone and chime out of it. If I throw on, as you can see, where the where the tilt cue is set, and I've got it in the half position. So that's nice and tight. So let's throw up the boost. tighten that up. Gonna try and go for like a smooth kind of fuzzy lead thing now, just by messing with the gain and the EQ control. enjoying the range of gain and the amount that you can control the the sort of the attack of the guitar if that makes sense like when you've got none of that tilt EQ in there you can actually get really like flubby and intense which works in some tones but sometimes you want a bit more definition just use the the, the tilt EQ and the tight switch thing and it totally gives you what you need okay so for the sake of experimentation I've grabbed the mayonnaise and I want to see how heavy we can go. So I've swapped over to the V30 cab. So this is what we've got straight into the twin sister. Let's throw on the drive everything at 12. First thing I'm going to do is gain it up. So boost the volume and the gain. Something like that. Next, I've taken the tilt EQ all the way out, but I now I'm going to keep it in full position and I've boosted it like hell, as you can see. So, next, listen to all that hiss. It's not too bad actually, considering how much gain's going on, but I'm going to use the tilt EQ now to tighten it up. great. I can get that much gain and tighten it up with a modern high output guitar, considering that's the starting point. Awesome. So let's try the exact same settings but with the Strat. So, neck pickup. 
Hopefully you could hear that it wasn't bottoming out at all when I threw on that tight, so... Maybe a tiny bit at the end because I've boosted it to full, but... There we go. There is a look at the new Rev Tilt Overdrive in collaboration with Sean Tubbs. So what do I think of this? Well, firstly, I just like the sound of it. I think it's a really nice sounding overdrive. Sean has great taste in tones. This is no exception. And the guys at Rev know exactly what they're doing when it comes to tuning and getting great tones out of their products. For me though, where this pedal shines is in that Tilt EQ uh, function. The fact you've got the boost to add more gain is great, but the way they've tuned and designed that Tilt EQ and the tight switch thing, it really, really makes this pedal way more usable in a lot of applications, whether it be in front of a high gain amp trying to tidy it up, whether it's dialing in loads of gain on this particular pedal and trying to tighten it up to get some more chugs, whether it's just to sort of carve out a certain sound that you want from the gain in the pedal, or when you blend it with the gain from your amp, definitely try it into like a clean amp, something with crunch and mix up between, you know, uh, single coil and humbuckers and see if it works for you. I really like that kind of the style of saturation in that pedal is different to what I usually use, but in a way, when you when you get like a humbucker or something like a Strat or like the Gretsch there, it's got a nice saturation that feels really liquid under the fingers, a nice sort of compression there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to Rev uh, for sending this pedal across, and of course, Sean for asking me to do this video. Congratulations on a great collaboration together. Uh, I think it's a great pedal. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll link it in the description box, of course. But yeah, as always, like, subscribe and share. I've been Rabia, and I will see you all very soon.